What's going on, everybody? It's Jay Wilson. And do me a favor, the membership's alive. So join, 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 because it's going to be an awesome time. We've got some really cool stuff, including exclusive live videos and content no one else gets to see. But more importantly, thank you very much for everyone that purchases all the shirts and the hoodies and things like that. I, I am truly grateful for all of that awesomeness that you folks do. Um, but today, we're going to be talking about one thing, setting up a cichlid tank for under 100 bucks. Can we do it? And what if we can't? So I'm gonna give you tips on how to do it right now. All right, so the question is, can you set up an African cichlid tank for under 100 bucks? And the answer is yes, but it may take a little bit of work to get there. Now remember, this is based on my area and things that I was able to find. I will, however, drop links in the description to give you the idea of how much it would cost to set up this African cichlid tank. Now, before we jump into that, I would love for you to say in the comments, the cheapest tank that you've ever set up. Okay, so here we go. The tank. Now look at the tank. It's 29 gallons. Yes, you could put African cichlids in it. And yes, it was free. Now this happens a ton. You could check your marketplaces, you could check Craigslist, you could check groups. You can even go to thrift stores and the most you should ever pay for a tank like this is probably $29. Dollar per gallon sale, anybody? So even if we added the $29 for that tank, we're still going to be under 100 bucks. But without the tank cost, we are well under $100. Now this one happened to come with gravel. I'm not a gravel fan, but you can use it in conjunction with Carib Sea. I'm a huge Carib Sea fan, and you can get a bag like this anywhere from eight to $12. It's a 10 pound bag. It's the perfect amount for layering on the 29 gallon. So where are we at? Well, 10 to 12 bucks. Now, we're looking at setting this aquarium up for smaller African cichlids. I'm thinking maybe we should do shell dwellers. If we're doing shell dwellers, we need shells. Now, you can get poof, 24, 12, 48, and you're gonna be in and around 12 to $14. But if you have these left over because you're a fish keeper, well, then it doesn't cost you anything. But if you're looking to buy them for a first time, these will be roughly about 12 to $14, varying in range from 12 to 48 shells. The more shells, however, the merrier when you're doing shell dwellers. Now, but what about plants? And what about rocks? And what about filtration? And what about lighting? Well, you might have rocks in your backyard or your local creek. You don't need many rocks, and well, this one will do, and it cost me zero dollars. And even if this was to cost me something, what's a rock like this gonna cost? Three bucks? So, now we have our rock. Fake plants will do your tank justice if you give them time to develop some algae or some brown algae to look real. Well. This shouldn't cost no more than $10, or you can make it yourself, go to your local craft store and silicone it or super glue it to a small piece of rock that you found in your backyard. But now comes the real key. And you're gonna say, oh, I don't know, man, it's gonna be really expensive. You're getting to filtration and lighting. Well, we got ideas. It doesn't have to be the fancy schmancy. I love aesthetics. I love the way my aquariums look. But I'm not, more than likely 99% of the time, I'm not gonna be able to find an aquarium like that for free. But when I'm going to set up a small aquarium for let's say my son or breeding or I wanna check out a new species or I'm waiting to save up more money for a new aquarium, there are some cuts that you can take for this aquarium. How about lighting it with a $5 six foot LED roll? and it has a remote. Five bucks, you're not growing plants, your fish don't require a special light, it's gonna give you decent lighting and it's gonna work for lighting the aquarium. That's all you're looking for. And if not, put the aquarium in an area that gets ambient light, sunlight. This is perfect. But you can attach this to some leftover anything. You could attach this to some leftover plastic, you could, oh wait, it's adhesive. So you can even stick this to the aquarium in a genius way so that you don't even need to worry about putting something over the top of this aquarium. And who knows, 
Maybe that free aquarium or that aquarium that cost you 29 bucks came with a lid. But now we come to filtration. There are plenty of options that will keep you under the $100. I happen to love this option for a couple reasons. One, I've got the Venturi system which gives me oxygen and well, it's super easy to install in the aquarium. It has a clip, suction cups on the side, I can dial back the flow and I can dial back all of the oxygen. So even if I didn't want the oxygen, well, I could just turn it off and remove this little straw. But that's it. We just set up a tank for under 100 bucks. And if you're very savvy, you can get fish and still be under a hundred bucks. Doesn't have to be shell dwellers, could be anything. It could be smaller and buna, it could be fry. You could be looking to purchase a fish that you wanna watch grow. There is a multitude of things you can do in a 29 gallon aquarium. And it's a pretty versatile size, so if you didn't necessarily wanna set up a cichlid tank, you could put shrimp in it. You could put community fish in it and still you'll be under a hundred bucks. This filter will cost you around $30, which probably is the most expensive cost, but if you just wanna use a regular sponge filter, which I'm not a fan of, you can go that route too, it's just a lot louder, where this is much quieter, and you can add extra cups to filter your aquarium. So that's it, hundred bucks in your pocket, you need to burn it, you can burn it on an aquarium. It's gonna take a little bit of hunting, a little bit of, little bit of work, but, at the end of the day, you can have an aquarium for your child, your spouse, yourself, or maybe it's the hundredth tank you put in your house. Whatever it is, you can do it for under a hundred bucks. And I'd really like to know in the comments if you've had that same opportunity. What is the largest aquarium that you got for free? And what did you turn it into? I'd love to hear it below. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a little bit. And if this is your first time watching this, I hope, well, you have a hundred bucks and you were able to set up an aquarium. And if you did, hit the like button, share the video. And if you're feeling saucy, go ahead and subscribe. All right, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed. You know what's next. Aha! Oh yeah. So there are select few that stay to the end and Maybe this was the sign. Maybe this was what you needed to hear. It's time for you to stop procrastinating. Procrastination does not mean that you don't have enough time. Procrastination does not mean that you are too tired. Procrastination does not mean that my table is full and I cannot do that specific thing. You know what procrastination is? You just don't like what it is that you have to do. But what if I told you that sometimes those things that we don't necessarily want to do or like to do so we procrastinate about are exactly what we need to do to have the breakthrough for the career, for the relationship, for the friendship, for the financial stuff, for the new car, for the new aquarium, whatever it is, what if it was that? And I know, oh, but it's really hard and, and I can't take much. I can tell you right now, there's nothing in this world that is ever really easy. Some things come a little bit smoother to folks. Some folks are a little bit more swift in the things that they achieve. But at the end of the day, we have to do stuff that we don't necessarily like to achieve the things that we want. Goals, dreams, what are they? Write them down, write them on a mirror, dry erase, put them on a post-it, look at them. But be honest with yourself. I didn't want to do that because I didn't have enough time and I'm too tired. Or was it really I didn't have, well, the likeness to do that specific task or that specific thing? I hope that's not the case. So crush it, run through it, push it down because there are things on the other side. But, but if you think the grass is always greener on the other side, you, my friend, are mistaken. And the reason, sometimes it requires a lot of work to keep it as green as it looks. Hope you got what you needed. Crush your week, your day, your month, your year. I don't wanna hear 2020 sucks. Everybody sucks with 2020. 2020 sucks with everyone else. We don't need to hear it, neither do you. Stop telling yourself, go get it. Talk to you later.